Hey guys, this is Katie. I'm here with week six of our summer devotionals. And just to give you a quick refresher, we are using our here journals through these devotionals. So H stands for highlight, um, E stands for explain, A is how can we apply it to our lives, and R is for respond. So that's the model that we're gonna use in this video. Um, and our section of scripture today is from John chapter 9, verses 1 through 23. So if you haven't read through that, be sure to read through the devotional for yourself. Do the hear journal on your own before you watch this video so that you can get the most out of it. Um, so I'm going to just dive right in. The verses that I highlighted come from verses 4 through 5. It says, As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. So this is um, Jesus talking. So to move into the explain explanation part, um, Jesus is speaking here, and this is the story of him healing a blind man. And so um, the disciples have seen the blind man with Jesus, and they just automatically assumed that since he was born blind, that he had to have sin in his life. So they asked Jesus, who has sinned? to cause this man to be blind. Um, and Jesus tells them, no one has sinned. Um, he is blind so that the glory of God can be revealed. Um, and he goes on to heal the man. But I loved what he said there, that he is the light of the world, because I thought that was such a cool parallel that while he's giving physical sight to this man, he's also giving spiritual sight to him. Um, and what a joy it would have been for this man to, to not be able to see anything. And the first thing that he sees when his eyes are opened are Jesus. And so um, to move into the application part, how can we apply this to our lives? I think the first thing that we have to acknowledge is that even though we may not be physically blind, we oftentimes in our lives can be spiritually blind. Um, whether we're just going to church, going through the motions, and we're not listening to God, or maybe we have never even started a relationship with God before, um, we are spiritually blind in those ways. And Jesus is the light and the joy that we need in our lives. And so that's the first thing that we have to do, is have I actually seen Jesus? Is this just a faith that my parents have given me, or is this faith real in my life and in my heart? And so that's the first application we can do. Um, the second thing that I thought of is um, that once we commit our lives to Jesus and once we invite him into our lives, his motto becomes our motto. So his motto in verses four and five is, as long as it's day, I'm going to do the work of the Lord. And then he says that he is the light of the world. And so when we have Jesus with us, we get to carry that light throughout our schools, throughout our family members, um, to our friends and family. We can carry that light with us and that joy that God brings. Um, and then also that's like becomes our mission because God has so radically changed our lives. We just want to share that with everyone no matter what time of day it is and so um that's the second way that we can apply it. Um, and so lastly, in our response, I think the first thing way that we respond and the first way that I always respond is just with a grateful and thankful heart because Jesus, the God of the universe, revealed himself to me. He revealed himself to you guys. And that is just an amazing thing and um, such a joyful moment when, when we acknowledge that. And so the first way that we respond is to be thankful for that. The second way that we can respond is to to take to not hide this joy to take it out to our friends to be bold um, and to share that joy and love with others um, because our friends our friends that are lost our family members that have never experienced Jesus they need that joy and love in their lives um, so those are that's our here journal for today um, and just a couple ways that you can respond I hope that you guys are digging into the word for yourselves and that God is really showing you um, some insights into who he is and what he's called you to do um, and I hope that you'll take this lesson as a reminder of something that we always tell you guys um, is that you have the power to impact your world. Um, God has placed you in the family and with the friends um, that he knew needed to see his love through you. And so be bold, um, be thankful for that joy, and go out and share it with others. Um, and thanks for watching this video.